Hello, welcome to a priori story time list. I'm here with Tex Adelo, here to uh, hear a great story. This is called Why Black Feet Never Kill Mice. Okay. There was much quarreling among the animals and the birds. You see, the bear wanted to be chief under old man, and so did the beaver. Almost every night they would have a council and quarrel over it. Beside the bear and the beaver, there were other animals and also birds that thought they had the right to be chief. They couldn't agree, and the quarreling grew worse as time went on. Some said the greatest thief should be chosen. Others thought the wisest one should be the leader. While some said the swiftest traveler was the one they wanted. So it went on and on until they were most all enemies instead of friends. And you could hear them quarreling almost every night until old man came along that way. He heard about the trouble. I forget who told him, but I think it was the rabbit. Anyhow, he visited the council where the quarreling was going on and listened to what each one had to say. It took until almost daylight, too. He listened to it all, every bit. When they had finished talking and the quarreling commenced as usual, he said, stop. And they did stop. And then he said to them, I will settle this thing right here and right now. So that there will be no more rows over it forever. He opened his paint sack and took from it a small polished bone. This he held up in the firelight so that they might all see it. And he said, this will settle the quarrel. You all see this bone in my right hand, don't you? Yes, they replied. Well, now you watch the bone and my hands too, for they are quick and cunning. Old man began to sing the gambling song and to slip the bone from one hand to the other so rapidly and smoothly that they were all puzzled. Finally, he stopped singing and held out his hands, both shut tight and both with their backs up. Which of my hands holds the bone now? He asked them. Some said it was in the right hand and others claimed that it was the left hand and that held it. One man asked the bear to name the hand that held the bone and the bear did. But when the old man opened that hand, it was empty. The bone was not there. Then everybody laughed at the bear. Old man smiled a little and began to sing and again pass the bone. Beaver, you are smart. Name the hand that holds the bone this time. The beaver said, it's in your right hand. I saw you put it there. Old man opened that hand right before the beaver's eyes. But the bone wasn't there. And again, everybody laughed, especially the bear. Now you see, said old man, that this is not so easy as it looks. But I'm going to teach you all to play the game. And when you have all learned it, you must play it until you find out who is the cleverest at the playing. Whoever that is, he shall be chief under me forever. Some were awkward and said they didn't care much who was chief. But most of them learned to play pretty well. First, the bear and the beaver tried it, but the beaver beat the bear easily and held the bone for ever so long. Finally, the buffalo beat the beaver and started to play with the mouse. Of course, the mouse had small hands and was quicker than the buffalo, quicker to see the bone. The buffalo tried hard, for he didn't want the mouse to be chief, but it didn't do him any good, for the mouse won in the end. It was a fair game, and the mouse was chief under the agreement. He looked quite small among the rest, but he walked right out to the center of the council and said, Listen, brothers, what is mine to keep is mine to give away. I am too small to be your chief, and I know it. I am not warlike. I want to live in peace with my wife and family. I know nothing of war. I get my living easily. I don't like to have enemies. I am going to give my right to be chief to the man that old man has made like himself. That settled it. That made the man chief forever. 
And that is why he is greater than the animals and the birds. That is why we never kill the mice people. You saw the mice run into the buffalo skull, of course. That is where they have lived and brought up their families ever since the night the mouse beat the buffalo playing the bone game. Yes, the mice people always make their nests in the heads of the dead buffalo people ever since that night. Our people play the same game even today, see? And War Eagle took from his paint sack a small, polished bone. Then he sang just as Old Man did so long ago. He let the children try to guess the hand that held the bone, as the animal people did that fateful night. But like the animals, they always guessed wrong. Thank you, Texadillo. Thank you all for joining us.